tell me a little bit about how your last year has been. Well, it's been crazy. Uh, I'll, I'll name off a few words. Busy, uh, strenuous, rewarding, uh, fulfilling. There's nothing that excites both Luke and I more than doing these performances and getting actually to present this music that we've put so much heart and time and effort into and to see a response, you know, to hear the stories after, to have a soldier from Iraq ride in and say, that record saved my life. And you just don't even know what he was going through at the time. I mean, just story after story. Are there any songs that you have written that you've got on your albums that you're finding great ministry in yourselves as you go through all these things? Yeah. I, I, namely, obviously, uh, the song The Proof of Your Love was, was very impacting to write. It was one of the last songs we wrote on the record, and it's been very inspiring to see people really make it their anthem. I mean, that song, we can't really take a lot of credit for it because it was really pulled straight out of the Holy Bible, you know? And so we've just sort of sat back and watched God do His thing with it. What does that mean to you when you realize that, that the words that come out of your mouth are not just lyrics that are fleetingly impacting people, but they're impacting their souls? Well, one of the, the title track of our record is a song called Crave, and it's actually going to be the last. We're just releasing it's the last radio single of the album, too. And, and the chorus simply says, hope is what we crave, and that will never change. And music has power there's no doubt about it you know you see it that's why people switch on radios that's why people go to concerts because it has some mysterious almost spiritual innate way of impacting our souls and sometimes i think it helps sometimes it hurts makes people better or bitter i mean it really can it's that that severe but this sort of music i, I believe is some of the most important music that people write you know songs about god songs that are inspired lord willing by him and so i, I you know we see ourselves as unworthy and in a lot of ways as we're musicians but to hear um you know people in some cases saved from death because of that lyric in the song that you came up with that one night in in your living room man it really puts people things in perspective because you're right you can get tied into this whole thing it, it, it has to be a business or it doesn't function you know we can't be here and leave our wives and families if if we're not putting food on the table so there's that component of it but that's what makes it real that's what makes it worth it is people a year ago when you were in Wapakoneta I, I I had the opportunity the privilege to see you all praying before you went on stage and that really impacted me to see the importance for all of you to be able to reach people in the right way. How do you all stay grounded as you go through this this type of life? Well, family's crucial, but the, one of the beautiful things is even when we're traveling, we've come of a very strenuous summer of touring back and forth across America. Um, but we really got a great kind of band and bro of brothers here that that, that are know the purpose of why we're doing this have all bought into it together and there's no there's no front man there's no guitarist there's no drummer it's just an accumulation of effort serving in any way that we can and uh i think one of the other major things is my father uh, who you've met uh he manages us and he is a, a a wise man and a steady hand in traveling he comes to us comes to every performance with us this is Joel Smallbone with Four King and Country, Rebecca St. James, younger brother. I'm sure you know that name well. What a privilege to be able to talk with you. Thank you so much for all you do, and thanks for watching.